Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley with Haley Stitches and today I'm gonna show you how to fold your fabric on comic book boards. These are the comic book boards that I use and I bought a 100 pack off of Amazon. They were pretty reasonably priced and the size is perfect for yardage of fabric. So the size of these boards are seven inches by 10 and a half inches. And these are what the boards actually look like. So the reason why these are great for fabric is not only the size, but also because they are acid free. And if you think about it, if you're storing something long-term, like your fabric might be stored long-term, you definitely do not want what it's stored in to discolor it. So the acid free component of this is really important. And that's why I'd recommend investing in these boards rather than using some cardboard or some cardstock that you may already have on hand. These boards also have a shinier side and a more matte side. I love the matte side because I can write exactly what the fabric name is. So I prefer to know exactly what color my fabric is so that's why it's really important to me to have something I can write on so I can label the fabric I have a ton of yardage that is all solids and it can be really really hard to determine what color is what especially if there are like 10 different blues so that's another reason why I really love these comic book boards I only use the comic book boards for a cut of fabric that is a half a yard or larger so I'll use the boards for anything from a half a yard up into like six yards I think is the most I have on hand and they work really well for everything in between those sizes. For anything smaller than that I usually keep my fat quarter bundles bundled up and my fat eighths bundled up as well and then smaller than that goes in my scrap bin. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I fold a half a yard of fabric and a yard of fabric so that I'm able to see the label on the comic book board. We are going to start out with a half yard of fabric so this fabric is a Motabella Solids in the color olive. So I wrote that right here. And then what we're going to do is fold our fabric selvage edge to selvage edge. So the selvage is the part that is finished on your fabric. And it usually will either have wording or little dots. And those are the two sides that we're lining up here. So we have the selvages together and then I am going to bring it up. So my length here, what I'd like to do is about nine inches. It doesn't have to be perfect. I do want to make sure that I leave enough room so that I can see what the color is. So you'll see I have just like a couple inches up here and then I'm going to fold that over. And then we're going to take our board and we want to make sure that the label side is down. And then we're gonna fold the left side in and then the right side in. And then we have a finished board like this. So I like to put it in so that the label is on the top right hand side. And then we will just file it into our container just like this. So now let me show you what I will do for a full yard of fabric. So this is a full yard of fabric and you can see the selvage is a little bit more obvious here. So we want to again place our selvages together and then we're pretty much going to fold it exactly the same way. So I'm going to have it come up here with just a couple inches on top and then fold that top over. And for the longer pieces, we are going to have to fold it a little bit differently. So I'm going to place it with the label down like before. And then I'm going to start with my fabric folded over about half of the length of the board. That seems to work for me. And then I'm just going to keep folding it over on itself until it's all folded up. And there we go. So then I will file it in just like this. So this is what my fabric looks like after I've placed it on the comic book boards. And next I'm going to show you the containers that I store them in. This is what my containers that hold my fabric look like. So these are from the container store and they actually work pretty perfectly. They're like the exact same size as the comic book boards. And as you can see, I just organize them uh, by color and it seems to work really, really good for me. I can always add another one if I need more storage. And the great thing is that they fit perfectly in the shelf in my closet. So I do not have to have any storage out in the open. I can keep these closed away in my storage and that works really, really good for me. And you can kind of see on the right hand side is where all the labels are. So it makes it really easy for me to see what I'm looking for and to find the fabric from my stash that I need. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some inspiration to sort through your stash and get things organized. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like it, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye.